Please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Cindy, scoot in. Cindy, scoot in. Cindy, scoot in. You can't see you. Dos Pueblos, it's Mr. Woodard, assistant principal, here to talk about a really important and unique day at DP next Wednesday, October 28th. All 10th graders will be taking the ACT Aspire exam. All 11th graders will, will be taking the PSAT. All 9th and 12th graders will be in activities. So I wanted to talk a little bit about today where you report. If you're a 10th or 11th grader, you're going to check the outside of the library or the admin building to see which room you will report to for testing on Wednesday. Testing will begin at 8.55, like our normal first period. There will be no zero period on this day. You, if you're a 10th or 11th grader, you'll be testing through uh, till lunch. If you are a 9th grader, you're going to be reporting to the EPAC, the Performing Arts Center, at 8.55. If you're a 12th grader, you'll be reporting to the Greek Theater at 8.55. 9th graders will be doing uh, counseling activities and attending some assemblies. And 12th graders will be uh, participating in 12th grade activities uh, all the way through lunch. And then after lunch, people will, all students will go to their 5th and 6th periods as normal. Uh, there will not be nutrition served on this day, so make sure that you bring a healthy snack on the 28th, next Wednesday. Um, if you have any questions about where to report, see uh, somebody in the office and they'll let you know. I'll also post this information on NEO in the news feed so you can get it there as well. Thank you. Over. Good morning, DP. I'm Scott Covert. And I'm Madeline Wester. Today on DP News, Beautify DP, brand new model United Nations team, and pep rally. DP team News starts now. Thanks for tuning in to, to DP, DP News. News. The next Beautify DP is on Saturday, November 14th from 9 a.m. to noon. Be sure to wear appropriate clothing for gardening or picking up, picking up trash. Are you interested in international politics, debate, charity, and meeting new people from other schools? Dos Pueblos has a brand new model United Nations team in meeting in Mr. York's room, H1, today at lunch. This club will meet only occasionally, so look under Campus Life on the DPHS website to find out more if you cannot make it. Please go today to find out more about this new team. At TED Youth 2015, more than 100 TEDx youth events will be tuning in live online around the globe. Young people will gather to explore the event's theme, Made in the Future. This theme will provide youth with new perspectives on their own future job possibilities beyond traditional careers. TED Youth 2015 is an opportunity for youth to think about the world in 2035 and to engage with experts who consider the corners of our intangible imagination to be the foundation for our potential future reality. Speakers will touch on an array of questions about our future. We would like to give a shout out to Diego Lopez and Ryan Fidel as they take on Freak Show, a national wrestling tournament in Las Vegas. They will be competing this weekend. Homecoming ticket sales on campus are coming soon. They start on Monday, October 26th, Wednesday, October 28th, and Friday, October 30th. Tickets will be available only at the business office these days during lunch. Tickets will be $12 with a charger card, $17 without, and $20 for guests. Let's get, get rowdy, rowdy chargers. chargers! Make sure you brought your class colors because today is the day 
This is our time to shine and do our yearly pep rally to celebrate all the fall sports and activities, and especially to get pumped for our rival game against San Marcos tonight. Make sure you come to the Greek today at lunch. Here's Dallas with more. Hey DP, it's me Dallas. I don't know where Shan is, but there's a pep rally today in the Greek. Woo! Woo! No one's cheering, but they're excited. It's an appreciation of our fall sports and also to get hyped for tonight's big football game against San Marcos at home at 7 p.m. So yeah, this Friday in the Greek, come on down to the pep rally for the big game. Right here, there'll be a pep rally. For the pep rally, we need to fill in the Greek because it has not been filled since the Katy Perry concert. Make sure you brought your class colors to make this the best pep rally ever. That's all for your news today. Madeline and Skylar signing out. Now we're to Nico and Ashley with your sports. DP, I'm Ashley. And I'm Nika, here with your sports support. Girls Golf competed at the Ojai Channel League Invitational Championships on Monday and Tuesday. Bella Vigna won the title for the second time with a final score of 147. She had, she had a two-stroke lead in the first day with one birdie, three bogeys, and 14 pars. Gabby Meaner placed second with a final score of 154. Jamie Sharp placed fourth, scoring 167 points. Megan Kerr placed fifth, scoring 168 points. Mika Hendrickson placed seventh, scoring 173 points. The next round is at River Ridge Golf Course on Monday. Girls Volleyball traveled to Santa Barbara for a Channel League match on Tuesday. In Game 3, Carissa Martins and Ali Malam intimidated the Dons by putting up a triple block, making the score 26-24. to Both ladies tailed up 11 kills throughout the game, while Kat Hogan ended up with 15 digs. This match was a tough one on our girls, losing three of four sets. They are 4-1 and one overall. Today, girls tennis hosts the San Luis Obispo Tigers at 3. Good luck, girls. Chargers, do you know what ta what's happening today? No. Today, in the Greek, there's a pep rally. And we're playing our rivals, the San Marcos Royals. Tonight, here at 7. Be there or be square, Chargers. Now let's pep it on over to Brianna with current events. Hi, I'm Brianna and I'm here to give you a current events report. Two weeks ago, a shooting in Oregon killed 10 college students. More recently, two more students were killed in separate shootings on college campuses in Texas and Arizona on Friday afternoon. These attacks have led to colleges nationwide to strengthen security measures and improve high-tech communication systems to send alerts to people on campuses. This adds up to four shootings in six weeks, two of them fatal. All colleges are working to ensure the safety of all their students. Coming up this weekend is a third annual Open Streets event this Saturday at Santa Barbara from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. There will be live music and performances as well as family activities. Don't miss out on the costume-themed Wild, Wild 5K and Z-Run and a special performance of hundreds of zombies performing Michael Jackson Thriller Dance. Come help promote clean air, health, and fitness. Now we're Lizette with weather. Hey there, DP. One of the most powerful hurricanes on record has hit hard in Mexico. Many of the families have been affected by this hurricane in Montezuma, Mexico. Our hearts go out to the families of members at DP also who have been affected by this hurricane. The hurricane is known as Hurricane Patricia. Today's temperatures will be 78 degrees, 82 degrees on Saturday and Sunday, and the surf will be 1 to 3. Expect some small waves this weekend, DP. Did you hear about the guy who got hit in the head with a can of soda? Lucky for him, it was a soft drink. I'm Lizette with your weather signing out. Have a good weekend, DP.